Good evening. I am Dr. Cornelia Ornelia Cuckold, expert in bird brains and pucker issues. I have my degrees from the University of Oregon where I study duck dicks along with ornithology. My father's first name was Orn, O-R-N, and my mother said he was a bird brain, so I am well qualified. I'm also God's wife. God is a bird brain. This is an opportunity to participate in three questions. I want you to line up if you have any questions. You're allowed three questions. I want them to be delivered fast and I'm going to deliver the answers as quickly as I can and then you can sit back down. But this is your opportunity to ask me three questions. Go ahead and line up here. Anyone who wants to line up and line up and ask me three questions. Yeah. Go ahead. What is your favorite protuberance? Peppers. Next. What is the capital of Abyssinia? How in the hell should I know? There's so many capitals around here. I am not here to answer those questions. I am God's wife. <laughs> Isn't that capital enough for you? Next. Do you prefer to pop blackheads or juicy infected pimples? I prefer maggots when I suck them off of peppers. You may sit down now. How did I do? Great, no, next, no. You, sir? I'm afraid to ask this question, but was it hard to give birth to Satan? <laughs> I didn't give birth to Satan. I am not Satan's mother. I am the mother of Jesus. Now, Satan is confused. Satan thinks that he is the father of Jesus, and he once told me to get on my knees and declare he was my God, which I did not do, because I don't do that to young men who are old enough to be my children. Next. Do you approve of the relationship between Jesus and Mary Magdalene? That is their business now, isn't it? But I do know Jesus was quite the woman's advocate because I helped raise him. Sit down. Mm, that was only two. Oh, well, go ahead. What's your third one? Sorry, I'm not very good at counting. There's so many of you, I forget how many there are. How many are there now? Billions, I heard. Next. Well, just for that, I'm going to sit down and give it to somebody else. I'm going to write my time to somebody else because of you. Oh. Oh. oh, you should have some cheese with that wine. I didn't say I was nice, I said I was God's wife. Why doesn't my parakeet love me? Your parakeet is lonely. Have you talked to the lorikeet yet? What about a lovebird? Don't you know that haven't you heard of birds being lonely? I brood all the time. I'm lonely. God's lonely. That's why he created so much of us. So many of us. Whatever. Your bird loves you, and if not, just give it the bird. So I need to get one more bird to be compatible with my bird, with, with honey buns. Or you can let it sleep in bed with you. If it's a male or female bird, that's up to you. But you can ruffle each other's feathers all the night long and keep each other company. Do you have another question? No, 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 that's too much. Thank you. <laughs> well, God's not opposed to love birds. Even if some people look like plucked chickens. Next. Why are there holes in Swiss cheese? There's holes in everything. There's holes in me. I'm so holy. I like have holes in my pores and there's a hole. There's a butt hole and a top hole and a pipe hole. And you know, what's wrong with holes in cheese? But anyways, that's because of um, bubbles. As if um, you should study a book on cheese making. Mm. Anyways, time's over. Sorry, but that's my cheesy joke there. Have a wonderful night.